Good morning and thank you for joining me as we start our day with the Office of Morning Prayer on this Thursday. We're going to, as we have the last few days, begin our time together with a Teze chant. And this one is called Wait for the Lord, whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, keep watch, take heart. Wait for the Lord, whose day is near. Let us wait for the Lord, keep watch, take heart. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This morning's psalm is Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it. For he has founded it on the seas and established it on the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false and do not swear deceitfully. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, 
and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this morning is taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 11, beginning at verse 14. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Mortal, your kinsfolk, your own kin, your fellow exiles, the whole house of Israel, all of them are those of whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said, they have gone far from the Lord. To us this land is given for a possession. Therefore say, thus says the Lord God, though I removed them far away from the nations, and though I scattered them among the countries, Yet I have been a sanctuary to them for a little while, in the countries where they have gone. Therefore say, thus says the Lord God, I will gather you from the peoples, and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. When they come there, they will remove it from all that is detestable, and I will give them one heart, and will put a new spirit within them. I will remove the heart of stone from their flesh and give them a heart of flesh so that they may follow my statutes and keep my ordinances and obey them. Then shall they be my people and I shall be their God. This morning's canticle is called A Song of God's Praise. O God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. For your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand shall hold me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9 beginning at verse 35. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples, and he gave them authority over unclean spirits, to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. 
Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. For you have received without payment, so give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for your journey, or two tunics or sandals or a staff, for labourers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it, but if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone does not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. For truly I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils, and they will flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about what you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. For I have called you by name, and you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. Gracious God, rejoicing in your blessing and trusting in your loving care for all, we bring to you our prayers for the world, the church and ourselves. We pray for the created world, for those who rebuild where things have been destroyed, 
for those who fight hunger, poverty and disease. For those who are working to bring relief and aid to refugees and those fleeing from war, drought, flood and famine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayer when I call, answer me. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, come and listen to me. We pray for our nation, for those who have authority and influence in our national life, for politicians, public servants, editors and journalists, for those who work to keep the peace and foster mutual understanding and respect, for those who teach, heal and care, and all who give freely of themselves in the service of others. May we all be sensitive to what is right and good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for people in need, those for whom life is a struggle, those whose lives are clouded by death or loss, pain or disability, discouragement or fear, shame or rejection. May we all know the warmth and the comfort of the assurance of your love and may we go forward with confidence. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the church throughout the world, with all its diversity and differing challenges. May all who profess your name learn to work and witness together, surrounded by that great company of heaven. We pray, Lord, for those at St Mary's and St James, as well as the churches of those who gather to pray with us this morning. Give them strength that they may seek to be and to do your will. We pray especially this day, Lord, for Anne and Mick Rowland, for Clive Christensen, for Mazarine Babb, for Aidan Miller, for Neville and Anne Henderson, for Colin and Rose Burtwell, for John and Ross and Leslie Frankham. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.